to another episode of Duke's Outfitters where today we are doing something super new and super different. We are doing a Duke's construction project from a rooftop tent camper. Uh, we're doing this to save money because it's like 80, 90 bucks for a motel per night. And uh, yeah, so it's just gonna be cheaper. It's gonna be fun. Gonna utilize some of my skills that I have with like road tripping and RVs and campers and camping and tents and fishing and all that other stuff. Um, Squirrels are going crazy back there. So here's what, where we're at. We're at Village Creek State Park. Um, so this is just the trails map and we are at site number four, which is like right over here. So I'm gonna show you guys camp real quick. Bam, there it is. So there's the tent and the trailer all set up. Here is how we're cooking. Got the propane and I got this new griddle on Amazon for a hundred bucks and I am super 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 excited about that because I was working or cooking on one of those super cheap aluminum like camp stoves. So here's you know we got the chairs, got the super nice layback chair. This thing's really nice. And then here is the back of the camper. This is where we're keeping all of the dry food, lots of pasta bread, canned goods, coffee, chips, and then this is where I'm keeping all my meat and everything like that. Not going to keep it open for very long because you don't want it to lose its coolness. And then this is our chuck box with all of my utensils and things like that. I have an extra table that I don't actually need now that I'm here. There's, I see there is already a table and let's see, let me show you guys up here. Uh, so this video before I show you guys the tent. This video, even though I'm doing a construction project right now, is going to be more about like me staying in the tent, me making it happen during the daytime here, uh, running the errands that I need to for work and all that stuff. I'm not gonna be sharing like what I actually do because I don't wanna share what I actually do on the internet. So anyways, <clears throat> flip you guys around, turn the screen on. This is what the tent looks like from the inside. We've got that window open. I've got a nice uh, Teton sleeping bag, which I am not gonna get inside because it is way too dang hot. Um, got a power cord right over here with all my wires for my computer and cameras and phone and all of that. And yeah, so it's pretty simple. There's a, so right over here, there's a little wire. Actually, let me just show you guys. Uh, so, the guy who had this last installed this. It's a super convenient thing. You've got to press the button eight times to get through all the like dumb flashy settings. What was that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. But now once you hit the button eight times, cause you can see all the different settings there, you get a steady LED light on inside of here. So you get lots of, uh, lots of light during the nighttime. Not that that's going to be a problem. So <laughs> kind of the fun part of this whole thing is I am going to be doing work at night and sleeping in this thing during the day and then just like chilling on the campsite for a while and then going back to work. So it's probably going to look weird. Time's going to be weird. I'm going to try and like put the time and like the date on here because I know when I'm doing this, my days get really mixed up and I can imagine like filming it's gonna be weird <laughs> I don't know maybe not we'll see but yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and cook some food and then I gotta get over to work and then we'll spend our first night in the tent not our first night first night here in the tent and then yeah I guess I'm just gonna keep you all updated so I feel like I'm gonna talk to the camera a lot because no one else is here Dre is coming tomorrow and staying the night and then we're gonna hang out Friday and then she's gonna go home and then she's coming for the very last day Sunday hopefully the last day hopefully it doesn't take me longer than that and Sunday she's just coming for the day gonna help us wrap everything up and uh, yeah and then go home so yeah I will show you guys like the end product of my project but I'm not gonna do anything like I'm not gonna bring the camera along to work and just show you everything I do so stay tuned guys I'm excited to see how this trip plays out and uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. So here is day one dinner. Got some Pringles. Cooking some green beans. I think those are actually about ready. And some sausages. And I'm using my fingers because it's my food. And I don't care if I touch it. 
Okay guys, so I've been chilling in the tent for like an hour. I talked to my wife, I got some dinner made and ate and everything cleaned up. Um, I'm about to go do my first night of work, but like I said, I'm not bringing this camera. Um, I am excited to see how much I get done. I really hope I get a lot done. I'll report back to you guys and just like let you know like if I got as far as I wanted to and how much, how long I really think I'm supposed to be here because until you really get started, you don't have like the best idea on how long you're gonna, you know, it's gonna take. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'll check in with you guys before I come back to camp. And then I'm sure it'll just be a quick little video. And then I guess I'm going to sleep. Can't wait to explore the state park and maybe do some fishing, a little more fun stuff. So stay tuned guys, I'll, uh, stay tuned guys. I'll uh, show you guys the state park here soon. I wanted to show you guys how full my truck is. <laughs> just completely stacked to the top with parts for the store. I'm gonna get all this cleared out tonight, so I wanted, <laughs> I'm getting in the car to leave, I wanted to show you guys just cause it's so ridiculous. Look, there's stuff under there, there's stuff down there. So, I'm ready to get it all out of the truck. Y'all, once you guys to get all this fog, Man, that's really cool looking. Looks like something from like a horror movie or whatever. <laughs> Super neat. <clears throat> okay guys, I'm gonna make this real quick because I am super tired. It's 3.30 in the morning and we are at the front gate of the state park. I gotta let myself in. But we got really far on the project. Um, I say we, it's just me. Uh, I guess I say we because it's you guys and me, right? But I don't know. So we got really far on the project. Um, I do think it's going to... Today's Wednesday. I think it's going to take me all the way till Sunday, maybe Monday to get it done. Uh, there was something else I was going to tell y'all and I forgot. Oh, I was going to show y'all the front of the store and I didn't. And like a little bit of the inside of the store. So I'll do that tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and open this gate and get in here and go to sleep i've got to be super quiet once i get in here um because everyone's camping and you got to be respectful especially coming in at 3 30 in the morning to a campsite so all right guys that's it for today i'll catch you all in the morning Very good at being quiet, am I? <laughs> Look how cute the ranger station is with the Christmas lights. Aww. now and I'm gonna try and get into my camper and get some snacks and get up into the tent without making much noise I think I can do it I think I can do it we're gonna try
that. Alright, so we're going to need these two pieces. Good morning. 9.19 on Thursday morning here. I'm tired. <sighs> you don't get much sleep doing these projects, even when you're doing it at home. Just cause like the neighborhood wakes up and the neighbor with his loud truck and people ringing the doorbell and mail and all that stuff. And Today it was the sun that woke me up. It's just so bright that I can't sleep. So it's 9.20. I think I went to bed at like five. So four hours. I've been up for a little while. So like four hours of sleep. So not great, but whatever. But yeah, today we're gonna go to the gym. I've gotta go to Walmart and pick up some stuff. I've gotta go to Lowe's or Home Depot. I prefer Lowe's typically, but Home Depot's kind of been better lately, but Gotta go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get some supplies for the project and Gotta go pick up a key It's got a busy day today It's gonna be mostly work and then Dre's coming tonight and then We'll do some fun stuff at the state park tomorrow, so I'm gonna go do chores, I guess. Mmm, time for breakfast. So, I've already gotten up. I showered and everything. I forgot my soap. I forgot a towel, so I had to wash myself with dish soap um, that I use to clean walls. <laughs> and I had to dry off with shop towels. So, I put it in order with my wife. She's gonna bring me a... Uh, some of these things along with like honestly like a lot of other things um yeah today we are gonna go pick up a key from beaumont possibly pick one up from port arthur we gotta go to the gym i'm gonna go work out Woo! and i gotta go buy like some supplies from lowe's or home depot whichever one i feel like going to or is close by but uh yeah, we're not doing much in the state park today. We kind of got chores and stuff, especially with Dre coming in. I want to make sure I'm prepared when she gets here. Um, but tomorrow, after we're done working, we wake up tomorrow, we're going to have fun all throughout the park. It's going to be a good time. So I'm going to take you all with me on my chores. I'm not going to like... I don't think it's going to be that much footage from today just because, like, how fun are chores, right? But, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Mm. I can't wait to eat this. Well, I just picked up the store key. I already went to the gym. I, uh, just, there's nothing to really show you. I'm not gonna bring a camera into the gym, but thinking about the gym and I was driving around made me think about something that I feel like maybe one person out there could uh, benefit from me talking about real quick uh, I'm not gonna make it a big big spiel but uh, just kind of like the value of working out and uh, like what that can give you in your day-to-day -day life um, I know that the peace of mind like feeling like I'm doing something actively for my physical health is really good and then also like feeling strong and healthy is really really good for me and 
you get a lot of confidence from it just from like hitting those goals and losing the weight or gaining the muscles or whatever it is you're trying to do getting the butt <laughs> or whatever it is when you get that goal it feels really good and it just shows you like what hard work and persistence can actually give you and uh the main thing really though is just it keeps you healthy it just keeps you healthy it keeps you moving and um you know i just want a fit active healthy lifestyle for everyone that i know all my friends no matter where you are at in your life in your fitness journey i just like i, I just want y'all to be healthy so please consider taking on a workout regimen please consider turning down that sugar or that beer, I know that's my, <laughs> that's my problem. Uh, or whatever it is, or go do that run even though you don't want to, or just whatever it is, fitness related and healthy uh, habit related, just please go do it. So, or don't, because sometimes I like to drink a beer, but at least, at least consider it. So, that's my spiel. So, getting groceries was an absolute pain in the ass. My, uh, bank account canceled my card or not canceled my card but like put a suspended my card oh you guys are kind of fucked pew, 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 pew. because i'm out of town so that was a real pain in the butt but i wanted to show you guys what i got for food and stuff and then this is what i do with my laundry put it in a trash bag put it down in this yeti bucket put the lid on it Got nice C deck on the top. Thank you, C deck, for giving me the C deck that I put on all my gear. And I put it in there. But <clears throat> this is what we got from the store. Got some smell good for the tent, some salt and pepper because I don't have any seasoning. This is for work, for some roller covers. Got some stuff for sandwiches for tonight. I'm about to cook that because Dre is on her way. And got some socks because. You can never have too many socks. Oh yes. And a Dr. Pepper for the wife. So, Dre's on her way. I don't know if she's gonna bring Gina. I feel like I'm talking too much. I don't know how to do one of these like multi-day videos. I don't feel like I don't talk this much on my videos. So hopefully I'm not boring you guys. Hmm? <laughs> <sighs> Things get weird when you're by yourself. Okay, sausages for dinner again. Also got some like beef stew. We're gonna put on some uh, bread and macaroni. Andre should be here any minute now. I'm super excited. I've been by myself. Plus, she's my wife, and that's fun. So she's super duper hungry. So I think she's gonna be ready to chow down as soon as she gets here. Oh, and she's bringing Gina. Y'all are so cute. Gina. Oh, you don't want the camera in your face. Oh, typical Gina. Mom and Gina are here. We're just chilling for a few minutes before we go to work. Just like last night, I'll keep y'all updated on how much we get done, but I'm not really showing y'all what we're doing at work. This is about the camping, so. I will get back to you guys here with the conclusion of the rest of the night in just a little bit. Say hi. Hi, Gina. Okay. I'm taking a little break. So I'll show you guys real quick. This is it. That says sport clips. We're out of sport clips today. And like I said before and many times in this video, I am not going to tell you everything that we're doing. We are painting the entire store. My wife is installing these credit card readers. Oh, she's on the phone. I was gonna make her wave, but we're doing credit card readers and a plethora of other things, but this is where I typically work is in either sport clip stores or commercial stores similar to this one. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna show you guys. I'll uh, update you guys on what we get done. Creamer. <clears throat> okay guys, so we're cooking breakfast. Doesn't that look yummy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those are all the leftovers for Gina. We're doing sausage and bacon and we're making breakfast tacos. But uh, we did well last night. We stayed till about 1.30. Um, we didn't want to work too, too late because we didn't want to be too tired for today. 
uh, we just talked about it and I think we're just gonna kind of hang around the park and like check it out and maybe go on a little walk or a hike and maybe go fishing or something I don't know so we're just gonna kind of hang out here Dre's gonna leave later today and then same thing and then work and sleep and work and sleep and work and sleep so yeah doesn't that look yummy I have salt and pepper where it's inside the chuck box Right there. Ooh, fancy. Got them yesterday. <laughs> you can't eat on the chair, baby. Come on. Okay, so we napped until 1.30 and we're gonna go, now we're gonna go check out the river and we're gonna walk one of the trails nearby. Uh, they said there's a bunch of like big cypress trees and stuff. So I know that this place has like a paddling trail. Um, I guess this is like a destination for paddlers. Um, I'd like to come out here and do that sometime. I kind of don't paddle as much as I used to. Oh, well, clean you guys off. Steady be dirty, but this is like the camp's actual, like the Texas Parks and Wildlife canoes that I guess like Boy Scouts and stuff can rent out. And they've got these neat little holders for some more. I guess somebody must be out on a trip and oh, tripping. They've got this. I don't know what they're building here. Oh, I think this is more bunks for more canoes. They must have a bunch of them. And you just put all the canoes in here, bam, bam, bam. And I... Yeah, it says coming soon, canoe, kayak, paddleboard rentals, and rinse off area. Ba -ba -da -ba. So here you go. As of December 2021, you, uh, this is upcoming. So soon you guys should be able to do this. So Village Creek State Park, if you guys want to rent canoes and kayaks and stuff, should give it a look. So let's check out the river. I don't know. I, it's like sandy. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a camping thing or if this is just like like a day trip paddle, but uh I mean I'm not paddling the river while I'm here, so I guess that's okay that I don't know that. So do your research if you're gonna come do that, but here we go. Very quiet and very peaceful. It's a very big river. I mean, it's probably 30, 40 yards across. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. This isn't really what I was expecting when I came down here the other day. Do you know if this is like natural or did they? Yeah, I think this is natural. I don't know what river it is, but I'm pretty sure it's natural. I don't know. I mean, it's a long paddling trail, you know? I didn't expect the water to be that clear for like how sandy it is. It's not clear very far out though. I mean, you can see like a foot deep, like right over there. That's pretty good clarity you for think this it just part. It drops off really deep. Yeah, that? yeah. I think Spooky. it's deep over there. It's either deep or there's like a like a collection of leaves, dead leaves and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, look at how smooth it is. Yeah. My gosh. So I guess when I go home, I'll put some more information on this paddling trail. I'll look it up for you guys and I'll either put it in the description if there's enough information or I'll just, you know, if there's just a name for it or something, I'll put it here on the screen. But cute little paddling sign. You can see way down there. It'd be so neat to camp on one of these banks. I don't know about like the private property issues and stuff with it. But. That one. That's where I want. 
The one right here across? Yeah. There's another nice one way down here too. And over here. There's a few that would be really cool if you had like a whole squad yeah. with you. Like 20 people or something or like 15 people. It's kind of humid down here. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was like, I'm kind of sweating. This is always a promising sign. Fish consumption advisory. It's pretty much like everywhere these days. They've got a life raft for people who are swimming. And then I love these because you see it everywhere. It's a monofilament recycling bin. You just stick all your old stuff down there. So on that note, pick up your trash people. Nobody likes someone who litters, so just don't. <laughs> I hate it. I pick up trash all the time, like every boat ramp I go to. Hold on, tell everybody, what'd you find? There's a beaver and otters here, probably multiple beavers. Beavers. Wow, I was telling you about these. Oh, you were telling me about the beauty berries. Yes, I was. Look, we got largemouth bass. Can you hold this nut yeah. for me, honey? Okay, so we are, where are we? We are here. We're gonna do this little half mile trail and come back. Um, we don't want to burn too much energy because I have to go to work tonight, but there's lots of other trails here. Lots of trails here. These are all closed and these are all closed. I'm not sure why. Um, let's see. On this trail that we are going on, I think there's a bunch of cypress trees, but we'll show you guys that. And then the camp ranger said, if you go to, let's see, I think here, if you go to where you drop off your kayaks, that spot that I just showed you guys, there's another trail and you can go out there and there's a bunch of like, what'd she say it was sugar cane or like river cane, river cane. That's apparently 20 feet tall. So you can go find that like over here near the closed area. But, um, she said you're, it's available. So it's not closed, but it's near that closed area over here. So let's see, what else do we have here? So here's a little bit of the trail information. you guys want to know what there is to do okay you can pause it there if uh if you need to read any of that here's some kayak and canoe rental places i'll take a picture of that and post it there for you too so yeah i guess we're gonna go on this walk real quick I'm trying to get you guys all the information that i think you would need if you wanted to come here so i think that pretty what I think that pretty well covers it. The Girl Scout troops put this together. Ooh. Melissa Hannah did this in 2005 for Ooh. her Melissa Hannah for her Girl Scout Gold Award. Man, what she did? She made the whole trail. She originally completed it, so I don't really know what that means. But there's like a bunch of signs up ahead, so they'll probably tell us. Ooh, okay, there's a story behind the trail. Dedicate this hike to my mother-in-law, Monique. <laughs> I'd like to thank Hannah for making this video happen. Melissa Hannah. Melissa Hannah. <laughs> if you're watching this, leave a comment down below because that's really funny. Um, Let's see. Ooh, the stretching pole. We got to get pictures of you stretching. This is so cute. This is so cute. Good job. Good job, Melissa Hannah. You did a good job. Stretch on the pole, hon. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I'm gonna stretch on the pole. Both hands on pose. There's instructions. Oh, there's instructions. Flat, Flat on the ground. Okay, I'm nailing it. You are nailing it. Look at those angles. The sun's coming in from behind you. It's like an angel. Classic thigh stretch. Classic thigh stretch. <laughs> These little girls are so cute. Look at all their badges. Very fun.
so Dre left. It's a pretty big bummer. I miss my dog. Now my wife came and then she left, so now I miss my wife and my other dog, Georgina. I miss Duke. And I think I have three more nights of work to do. And I'm only here for two. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll stay here on Monday night too. Or till my, Sunday night, I mean. But I don't know. I guess we're going to see. But I guess I'm going to take a nap now that she's gone. Oh, got a hair on my lip. And yeah, thanks Regina for the hair on my face. But yeah, I think I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> And then hustle pretty hard at work. So, good night. <laughs> so, it's 4.48 in the morning. I just got back to the state park. I am about to go into the bathroom and take a shower just because I had to lay on the floor and I got like hair all over me um, so when Dre left I started getting kind of bummed out because like obviously she was leaving but like also I've been having a hard time lately just because like a friend of mine recently passed away a couple months ago and it was just really sudden and like He's the guy that I make a lot of these YouTube videos with. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos. I'll tag one of my favorite videos with him on one of those little deals that pop up on whichever side. But it's just been really tough because, like, these nights that I spend so much time by myself, I have to, like, <laughs> be alone with my thoughts. And so I'm thinking about him. He's always on my mind. Um, especially because, like, we both like fishing, we both like the outdoors, we both like construction. I met him at school for construction, so like, he just would really have enjoyed what I'm doing and I really need help and so it's just really hard for me. when <laughs> It's hard when you're working by yourself and you need help and you know that your friend who's no longer here would love to be the person <laughs> to be there to help you. Um, so it kind of sucks. So that's why I didn't really record anything for the rest of the day. Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I've got to hey, I've got to drive to Port Arthur um, and go get a key to another store. Um, I've got to go to Sherwin Williams. I've got to go to Lowe's. And when I go to Port Arthur, I'm probably going to go check out Sea Rim Park and show you guys that just to like try and squeeze something in for myself because tomorrow's going to be pretty busy. And then the next day I'm working all day and all night into the night and it's gonna be a madhouse so try and get one more thing in before Sunday's crazy craziness happens and yeah so anyways uh, I'm about to go take a shower um it's 451 now <laughs> I'm gonna take a shower and go to sleep so I'll see y'all manana okay good morning well kind of it's 12 45 in the afternoon uh, I got up at like 9 30 so I slept for like four hours uh, so I'm getting really tired I'm kind of like fed up with being here at this point <laughs> um, yeah so ready to get all this knocked out ready to see my dog ready to sleep in a real bed but yeah uh, on the bright side of things, uh, I am about to go to Port Arthur, just like I was saying um, previously, and then we're gonna go to the beach just for a few minutes, and then we're gonna go over to Orange and finish the store. Luckily, I checked online. I'm so glad I did this. I checked online, and the store closes at five today, not seven. So I'm gonna get two extra hours in, and um, I think I think with the two extra hours. Uh, I think I'm gonna get done today other than like those few little things so I might be coming home tomorrow <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed if not it'll be Monday morning but um, yeah I'm gonna go run and do the key thing and go to Lowe's and do some stuff I'm not gonna show any of that and then 
I guess here in just a moment, I'm gonna show you guys the state park. So just uh, hang tight and uh, I'll meet you guys over there. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we're pulling up right now. Let's see what we find. Hi there, how are you? Hello. Oh. How can I help you guys? <laughs> I'm gonna scoot back a little bit yeah. there. Whew. Man, that got me. I'm good. Hey, I'm just coming for like an hour or two just to hang out. So I don't know whatever the fee is so for just uh, the date. $3 fee just to enter the park? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Gotcha. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Time. She was a lot of information. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna park real quick and use the banyo. This place is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Hold up before I go to the bathroom. I don't know. I'm gonna pull out my other camera and use my big camera around here, I think, because this place is just gorgeous. And I don't think the GoPro's gonna do it. So, pit stop and then, uh, yeah. We're gonna check this place out. Okay, so the first thing we're checking out today here is the boardwalk. Here is the Searam State Park sign and a map. I'm not really gonna go over it too much because uh, I don't think anyone's gonna really sit here on the video and like look at the map, but I'm sure you can look that up online. Um, this is what it looks like. Ooh. So this is coming right out of the entrance right over here. You just pull in, pull off to the side. That's the bathroom that we used. And it is wheelchair accessible. If you want to take the scenic route. Or we could put my yellow Crocs in the video. Oh yeah, going to the beach. Okay, we got that's the same sign we just saw no gathering driftwood so they said that driftwood is protected for the birds um also keep your dogs on the leash they said you got to stay off all the grass they're all protected as well no lifeguard uh no alcohol and no glass so the lady said if you want to go crabbing during the summer all the little uh the little ponds are good and then she said during like the cooler months like right now if you go down east beach you can uh find some good crabbing in the surf it's just got to be a calm day and uh, she said if you want to go down to east beach you need to have four-wheel drive it's not really like a safe for two-wheel drive vehicle she said it's a little treacherous but she said if you want to go on the beach you don't have four-wheel drive you can go down on uh, west beach um in west beach she said it's hard pack and you can drive on it but on the note oh on the note of crabs i uh, i haven't shown you guys this but i uh, am getting my tattoo covered up bam and that's an octopus it's not a crab but ba -ba -da -ba, there's the crab he's not done with it yet so this is being done by a friend of mine named brandon madrid works at Richmond Avenue Tattoo. Um, he was very, very kind and very good at listening and just like really hearing exactly what it is you want and then like making it real. I know that sounds silly, like, oh, that's the point of a tattoo artist and like an artist in general, but you would be amazed. You tell somebody like, I want this to do this one thing or whatever, and they just, they just don't listen. And so I don't know, he put the whole thing together really well. It really fits, it's got, an awesome theme and he's covering and he's doing it while covering something up so uh yes thank you brandon if you watch this thanks buddy uh i can't wait to get home so i can go and uh sit in the chair again i know i'm coming today is today's saturday i'm supposed to go meet up with him on wednesday so two or three more sessions and that'll be done um but yeah so i think i'm pretty much done here at the beach i guess i'm gonna step in the water but uh I want to go check out the crabbing spots. I made a friend named Lee 
Hi Lee, he'll probably watch this video. But I met him on Texas Blue Crabbers, and uh, which is like a Facebook page, but we crab together a lot. And we're looking at doing like a crabbing camping trip. So I don't know, I wanna get the gang together and, uh, whew, back, I guess I'm gonna walk backwards. I wanna get the gang together and do a crabbing camping trip. So y'all will probably see a video from here for like a full length video from CRM State Park. So. I don't know, I'm gonna go walk back up here and see what else I can find and uh, yeah, just keep watching. I'll let you know what I see. So that's the, the entrance like I was telling you guys, bathroom over there. So if you come in, this is all the, uh, the, the camping sites with electricity. Um, pretty exposed, they kind of hidden by, behind the grass there a little bit. But yeah, if you're coming out here, I guess, I mean, it's the beach, expect to be exposed, but that's the electricity camping area. So when you enter the park, if you take your immediate left, there's a roundabout. If you just take what would be your left, if you went around the roundabout, you'll find the uh, Blue Crab Day Use Loop. And this is where all of the, uh, let's see, bit, but, uh, this is where all of these little lakes are. We're right here at this little star. So all these little lakes are the really good places for uh, crabbing during the summertime. Um, I'll pick you guys up. So this is what all the lakes look like. You just find a good spot like uh, maybe at the end of this log or over there where the grass is clear a little bit and you just throw a piece of chicken in and uh, catch a crab. So I'm gonna just cruise around through here and see uh, all the juicy crab spots and share them with you guys. And uh, there's one other spot she said at the very end of this road that is like a I forgot what she, I think she called it a cut. I don't know what that means, but we'll go find the cut and see if we can uh, find that spot and locate that too. So I found another really good looking spot for crabs. People ask me kind of often, like, where do you find them? Like, how do you know where to look or whatever? So this is your opportunity. So if I was crabbing here, this water is kind of shallow. See how it sort of tapers off slowly. So that's probably not as good as I thought this spot was gonna be, but if the water was a little bit deeper, this would be a good spot, um, unless you're throwing out nets or, nets or cages or whatever, but if you're hand lining, you probably don't wanna get this shallow because they'll see you and they'll run off before you can scoop them up. But a little deeper than this would be good unless you are throwing out uh, cages, but I'm sure I'm super positive that you can catch them with cages here, so. I thought that was gonna be a little better just because of the depth problem there, but uh, I'll find a good one to show you guys. I'll find the spot and maybe I'll put it in the link or in a, maybe I'll put a Google Maps link down below. Who knows? Let me see if I can find one first. So this is the area you need four wheel drive for. You said it can be soft sometimes. I'm not gonna be ballsy, I've gotta go to work. Uh, I do have four wheel drive. I've got all the bells and whistles for four wheel drive, but uh, I'm not really a fan of being, of being the type of person to go and use it just cause I got it. I would way rather just use it when I need it. <laughs> use it when I need it to keep it in good repair. Like, oh, I don't even wanna go through that water. I'm just gonna turn around up here. So. still fun to drive through here it's always fun driving on the beach okay let's turn around gotta stay off the grass ba, 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 ba. don't drive in the wet sand so i didn't find the cut i mean maybe it's this thing here where this water is coming up I guess maybe if you go further up there, it uh, it gets deeper. My guess is that this gets deeper as you go up there because that's inland up there. So that's the cut. That's where she said to go during uh, during winter months. So this is at the very end of the crab loop. You'll find this uh, entrance to the to the beach over here, and then the cut's just at the very very end of the crab loop, like the very end. These people are going fishing over here, so I imagine. Yeah, that looks like there's uh, there's some more water depth over there. So I'm gonna hop out and go show it to you guys. I'm gonna go give it a look. Well, never mind. I just drove by it. There was nowhere to get out. I didn't want to come up 
and uh, encroach on those people who were going fishing. That was like really the only way in and I just, I don't like when people do that to me. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter, I don't need to be over there. So I saw the place, uh, I told you guys where it's at. Y'all know where it's at, go find it. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to wrap up Sea Rim Park. I'm pretty sure I'm going to leave here um, per the use. I'm not bringing y'all to work. So I guess unless something eventful happens, I guess I'm going to wrap this up for the day. I just don't really want to mess with the camera too much. I don't like worrying about it. But uh, yeah, if something crazy happens, I guess that'll come up next. And sorry if this is a long video. If you're still watching this video, I'm honestly probably pretty surprised. I hope it's good. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you watched it this far, thank you for watching it. I guess this is the part where I should ask you guys to go like it and subscribe to my uh, channel. So go like the video, go subscribe to my channel. All of those good fun things, my Instagram, my Facebook, etc., etc. So yeah, I will catch you guys very soon. I guess for y'all it'll be momentarily. And I'm gonna put the camera down and focus on driving. So, so I told you guys if something uh, something cool or interesting happened, I was gonna let you know, um, and it did. I'm actually super, 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 super excited about this. Uh, yesterday, I asked my friend Eric if he wanted to come get some hours, come work, make some money. Um, and today, he just hit me up not long ago, and he's like, "Yo, dude, I'm heading out. I'm gonna come out there." And I didn't know he was actually gonna come. He had talked about it, but he was like, not sure if he was gonna come. So, he's actually gonna come. I'm gonna have some help that makes tonight a reasonable workload, which was like a big stressor of mine because it was a lot. It was a lot of stuff to do. Um, so it's gonna be a reasonable workload, and then I'm gonna power through tomorrow. And that means I either get to go home tomorrow night or. That means I get to go home tomorrow night unless I just decide to do one more night. And that's just like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to go home. I can't wait to see my friend. I've been lonely. I know it doesn't really like, I guess it probably does seem like, I've been by myself quite a bit throughout this whole process. Like a lot more, like there's been a lot more downtime and like stuff that like you guys didn't actually see and like a lot more like time by myself. So I'm excited to be around somebody. I'm excited to... I'm just excited. I'm excited to go home. I'm excited for everything. So. Guess who's here? It's Eric, I think. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Say what's up to YouTube real quick and then I'll get you off the camera. Hey, what's up? <laughs> That's Eric, guys. Say hi, Eric. Hey, what up? Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> Eric's here to help tonight. Go for it. All right. So. Okay. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, we've got good news and bad news. It's good news for me, bad news for Dre. Dre is. Uh, not feeling well so I'm gonna go ahead and go home instead of finish the project and I'm just gonna do like the last little bit whenever uh, she gets feeling better and comes back because I need her I need her to do the uh, credit card reader installs because I don't know how to do that <laughs> so yeah I get to go home I get to go home this morning I don't have this big crazy day of work to do today but uh yeah that means I got to come back so we are packing things up and I can't wait to see Duke. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. So thanks for watching. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching, seriously, because it's probably a really long video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Duke's Outfitters. Okay, we made it home. Let's go see Duke. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't think he knows I'm here yet. Okay, gotta sneak in. I do. All right, Gina. Hey, buddy. 
Oh my goodness, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hi. Hey, come here. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love you. Hi, honey. Oh. Hi. Hi, Duke. Hi. I love you, buddy. You're such a good boy. Mm. <laughs> I love you so much. Okay, let's go inside. Come on. Come on, Jeannie. 